Well, hello there, folks, and welcome back to some more Syrian Warfare. Guys, even though YouTube completely hates these videos and demonetizes them, this is absolutely one of the uh, most successful games on the channel, so I'm going to keep it going for sure. Um, we're actually just going to go ahead and play this one mission. And as you can see, we've got um, an actual vehicle that's a grenade launcher, um, an automatic grenade launcher, and we've got a few uh, police RPG squads. Now, I want to take this Hillux transport vehicle to assist in taking this area, and I don't want to keep moving forward until we have that armored support. But we have to get this bus um, into this valley safely, so you know what? I think we're going to be forced to move forward, especially since I'm seeing a suicide vehicle right there, or possibly just a suicide bomber. Let's go ahead and target them. Oh, boy. That is effective fire, and they've hit the bus. My goodness, I don't think the civilians made it out, but such is warfare here in Syria. Keep on firing, boys. Come on now. We've got the damn engine destroyed on this thing. This is our Hillux transport vehicle. Uh, I'm going to immediately go ahead and start repairing it. As you can see, we're already going to get some engineers to work on it, but it looks like, unfortunately, that first vehicle is completely destroyed. Uh, we did wipe out those vehicles, though, at the cost of our own. So let's keep this driver back, because we might need him later. And I want to start moving these uh, other units forward. Looks like the vehicle is back in working order. I don't like those vehicles approaching, but what the hell. Let's make sure that this building here is completely clear, and I'm pretty sure it is. Hopefully we'll get some reinforcements soon. Uh, there's no way we are going to be able to take on the Rebels uh, and succeed here without some serious assistance from our friends. And in this case, that's going to be some reinforcements. I don't know why this thing, uh, it does show ammo here, but I don't see any sort of weapon in it. So it's a transport vehicle. I guess it only transports, but I don't for sure um, that this thing would engage. So for now, we're going to move forward with that sniper team as well as the RPG team. Let's keep the sniper team back here. I'm pretty sure we're going to come up across some uh, some enemy troops we probably don't want to see. Here we go. No, not yet. I'm definitely hearing some shots, but I don't see where they're coming from. I would guess that that's pretty typical in Syria to not know exactly where the enemy fire is coming from. Move forward, boys. Okay, let's engage that group right there. Uh, and I believe we are fighting Al-Nusra. That's right, this is the Al-Nusra front that we're fighting. And if this guy doesn't engage, then, yeah, we're better off just getting these guys out of the truck and fighting on foot. Okay, taking cover is going to be important. But not right now. <laughs> right now, we just want to waste these guys. Uh, we'll worry about cover later. I'm actually looking around. There's not really any good cover down here in this olive grove. Guessing that's what it is. OG2, OG2, this is Falcon 4, come in. Roger, Falcon 4. I read you, Falcon. The situation is far worse than we expected. A major unit has broken through to the intersection. Oh boy. We don't have enough time left to deal with them on our own. I oh, copy that, back. Falcon. The nearest waste the vehicle, waste the vehicle. To back you up. We've got some RPGs, and so do they. Okay, our RPG actually managed to hit the target. Uh, I'm going to throw some smoke here to cover our retreat. And I'm going to try to get into this building, guys. Also got some enemies over here flanking us. I want to try and waste them first. Engage, boys, engage. Yeah, this is going to be a nasty little fight. Okay, nice. Look at this. A BTR-70 here. It's not controlled by us. It's controlled by uh, an allied unit, but they are coming to our aid. This is Lieutenant Bassett. My Fire. unit is in the sector. You're just in time, Lieutenant. Come over and join the frame. Good shooting, boys. All right. Excellent, guys. So we've got this uh, lieutenant here assisting us, and I think this BTR-70 is going to be very helpful during this battle. I'm going to immediately move up. Hopefully, this is not too unsafe, and engage that vehicle, that technical, and then I will retreat once the uh, thing is up, on, up in flames. There we go, baby. In fact, we can keep on engaging these Alnutris front members, but I want to push back a bit and move our police forward over here. It is way too close for our sniper team to be. All right, engage, boys. Got a nice little police squad here. 
And there's the beach chair. Still providing some pretty effective uh, supporting fire. I'm just going to keep it back here so the enemy doesn't target it with RPGs, anything like that. Though we could probably push it up just a little bit more. Get it into a more advantageous position here to uh, combat the advancing enemy troops. Come on, boys. Waste them. At some point, we're going to have to hold that building. Yes, Grandma Hamilia. Oh no. Strange men with guns. You got a tank on the way, Volk. Does it start with all and end with bar? Because I think I know what they're shouting. We better get ready for this one. Get back, get back. Or else this is another group of deserters. Let's engage that one lone gunman there. Get out of there, or they'll... Thank you, Grandma. We'll talk again later. If possible, I'm going to pick up that weapon there. It's an RPG-7. I want to see if our police squad can, get, can actually pick it up. Although, I don't think we Welcome can. Forward. Only our RPG Come squad can get it. Oh, boy. Enemy tank. And some armored vehicles too. Your stubborn streak must have really ticked somebody off over there. The vehicles are coming your way, so be prepared to take some rocket blasts. Oh no. Alright, we're already gonna start Thanks moving an RPG up. team over and a sniper now. team into that we building. Have intelligence that a major enemy division is coming our way. Civilians reported that the fighters have missile launchers and a few tanks and infantry fighting vehicles they captured in Idlib. We're going to have to retreat and hole up in the house on the hill. We'll wait for reinforcements there. But Fair Commander, enough. there are still civilians using this road. Lieutenant, we can't be of any help to them dead. We retreat and regroup and counterattack as soon as we get the chance. All right, fair enough. Yep, we're going to just get as many units as we can back there. I might leave uh, one unit of RPG gunners over here. But let me grab one of the police squads. And look at all those vehicles, man. That's a lot of enemy vehicles. We're going to put one of the police squads in here as well. I do want to keep a few guys here uh, to still put up a bit of a fight and see if we can't also take out that enemy tank. It's so damn close. Let's just go ahead. Let's pop some smoke over here and see if we can get over there and just get a quick shot on the enemy tank. Bit of a suicide mission, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Come on, boys. I know you can do this. Oh, two missed shots. Come on. The smoke should be able to protect us at least a little bit while we reload these RPGs. You guys got to reload those quickly, and we're firing at the front armor here. Should be, still be pretty effective as long as it makes contact with the target. I think that's as close as we're going to get. We should definitely pull back. It's just so Open annoying to have to deal with that tank. Try to get a foothold in the mountains. Don't abandon the sector. We're sending you reinforcements. It's everything we have, Falcon. Don't fail us now. All right, we've got every single guy in this building. And we're also engaging um, Al Nusra members coming off the hill here. It looks like we're getting some reinforcements. That's exactly what we need. Let's take a look and see what we can get. We absolutely need uh, more RPG squads. You can never have too many of those. The BMP looks great. We don't have enough command points for that, though. Uh, but I'm sure we could sell some units to get those command points. still going to be a lot. Let's just get some police snipers, some engineers. And no, we can't afford the BMP. It's just too expensive. Uh, do we have an RPG squad? No, we have too many of these, so we'll just get another police squad here. And... Okay, technical it is. I mean, it's better than nothing. Let's push up. Idiots, how's it going? And what? I'm happy to hear from you. We're back from patrol and we're ready to move forward. All right, move back with this RPG squad too. Come on, boys. Got so many um, Alnusra front members on the way. Look at all those guys. The coastal highway. Now, most of them are about their tanks. We haven't even dealt with those yet. Copy that, buddy. Okay. I hope that this uh, BTR keeps up the fight. I'm going to have him start engaging immediately. Get him. Get him. That heavy machine gun fire is going to take a few of them down at least.
And as for the engineers, you know what? I might actually try to put some anti-tank grenades up here. No BTR, I need you focusing down the street, son. Oh boy, enemy vehicle. Just hit our uh, engine and damaged it, and they're coming in with suicide vehicles as well. I think our poor BTR crew is about to be overrun. Uh, they're going to put up a hell of a fight before that happens. I'm actually going to target the suicide vehicle specifically. Oh, boy, our engineer is here, but it's a bit too late. Let's see if we can still get some anti-tank mines down. Keep up the fire. Keep up the fire. Even at this distance, our snipers are going to be very effective. Still able to put some uh, some rounds through these vehicles. And unfortunately, our crew had to exit. But it looks like most of them managed to survive. And now what we have are a lot of Al-Nusra front members here trapped. Uh, their vehicles stopped, of course. And that looks like it's going to work out in our favor. Let me also put that sniper team in the building, too. And we're still managing to place some pretty nice mines here. Let's go ahead and flank. Burn it, boys. We might even be able to fix this BTR, believe it or not. We get that engineer team in here. Welcome forward. This is Haji 2. I've got new intel for you. Details later, but for now, return to your original audience. Clear the intersection. We'll send some extra units your way to help out. Over. Okay. Falcon 4, this is RG2. Come in. Falcon 4 reads you. The leader of the sector tells me that the army already knows about the bandit you ran into. They promised to allocate forces to clear the surrounding mountains, but right now, they're bringing in equipment to help the local unit defend themselves. The convoy should go through your sector. See to its safe passage. Are you crazy? I can barely hold my position, never mind guaranteeing safety to a whole convoy. Vulcan, the situation on the other roads is worse. They're hunting convoys right now. Everyone wants to get their hands on military cargo. So we obviously have to clear out that intersection, bombs. and uh, that's going to require us to get most of our units back out and Without lead a counterattack here. Um, I'm hoping since we've taken out a ton of their vehicles, that's going to be fairly easy. All right, folks, well, one of the not best not parts not about happen. this uh, current no counterattack situation is we get some reinforcements. Okay. First thing we want to do, go ahead and bring over the RPG squads from the reserve. Uh, this is what we really need. I'd love to get this BMP, but honestly, I'm not going to you know, waste a bunch of guys just to get it. Uh, the BTR-70 looks pretty cozy, so I'm going to take that and hope that this is enough to uh, bring some relief to our men over here. Another thing we can do, we can actually grab our engineers here, put them inside this particular vehicle, the BMP, and I'm pretty sure we can fix this thing. Uh, while we're at it, guys, we want to bring the snipers out. Who else? Some RPG squads as well. I know we've got a lot, but the more the merrier. Uh, to take on any of the enemy armor. I'm pretty sure we're not going to be needing that uh, particular uh, building anymore. Nice. Look at that, guys. It's already firing. So as you can see, the engineers already got this thing working again. Could actually fix it even more if we wanted to. Uh, although I might hold off just a little bit. Let me start fixing, but I'm going to bring our police squad up so that the enemy uh, is focusing fire on these guys. In fact, we could even throw some smoke out there uh, to make it even less likely that our engineers get hit while they're fixing uh, the BMP. There we go. Welcome aboard, folks. This is what I'm talking about. This is a definite proper counterattack force. We've also got this Hillux MG. Uh, so we've, we're even going to have some technical support here. We're starting to look like the uh, Al Nusra front almost in terms of uh, our supplies. So look at that tremendous amount of manpower. Look at that overwhelming firepower there, guys. We, of course, want to push forward and get over there to where the tank is. So I want to do that first. Keep these vehicles firing. That's all well and good. Uh, but let's get an RPG team over here and see if we can't storm that tank. I'm going to send the police squad first. It's definitely a little risky, but we have to do this. And I'm going to throw the smoke right there. Look at that. One of our officers just went flying. Absolutely devastating stuff. Uh, once we get closer, we'll throw the smoke even closer here with our RPG squad. I don't want this tank getting any shots on us at all. Come on, boys. Let's get it. Come on. Should be able to get the shot. Although the smoke likely affects us too. So we're going to take this opportunity to run right past them. And hopefully they're just as clueless as we think they are. 
Although I'm guessing they're a little more aware than, than we're gonna expect. Here we go, engage. All this happening, we can get the police squad over here, sort of uh, in this area. They're not gonna do anything against the tank. Just hoping one of these guys gets an RPG ready to fire. And I, I have to say, the smoke is so realistic in this game. It sticks around for a while, and I like that, except in this situation. I'm not not a fan. Come on, boys. Engage. There's a grenade. It's a miss, unfortunately. Oh, man. I did not expect there to be that many enemies there. Uh, let's actually push forward with the BTR here and try to engage that vehicle. We're going to have to shoot through the concrete or the cement mixer. But actually, you know what? I want to target this thing. BMP. Move back, boys. Move back. All right. The crew member is down, so we're definitely... Yes! Beautiful. Saying we're definitely damaging the vehicle, but uh, we have just taken out most of the vehicle's crew. Uh, they're trying to escape now. One of them's down. One of them's still there. Get him, boys. Come on now. That is going to be a dead Al Nusra front member. It's scary when the Al Nusra front has tanks at their disposal. That really changes the odds. Here we go. Our engineers in the BTR are going to go crazy now. Looks like they're ready for the attack. There we go. Keep firing, boys. I'm not sure if we can even pen that armor. Maybe not. We just damaged the chassis. That's a good start, but not really telling. And because of the uh, trajectory here, we're not getting very good shots. We're also getting some all neutral front members coming down from the hills there. Yeah, that vehicle's down. Okay, what can we do to change this? Let's get an RPG close by. I'm going to move over here. Move these guys over here into cover. This is a pretty vicious little vehicle. The BMP-1. Nice! Beautiful, it's on fire. Pretty weak little vehicle when it comes to getting hit by an RPG, uh, so that's good news for us. Bad news is it's still putting up some pretty good firepower, and even our engineers are returning fire on the enemy infantry here. Every gun counts, even if it's coming from an engineer. Keep it up, boys. Keep them under fire. Uh, we could actually bring our technical up here, let him have some fun. Especially since we have uh, enemy units up here, guys, in the hills. So I'm going to have our technical engage them. Nice. Also, instead of that constant fire that you see in the movies, uh, much more realistic fire from, from the actual uh, Syrian um, battlefield. Instead of, you know, just wasting a bunch of rounds, they're really doing burst fire. A few rounds in the, en in the general enemy direction. I mean, you have to keep in mind these are very, very high caliber rounds, and we don't have many left. So, our guys are trying to reserve as much ammunition as possible. Actually thinking I just want to overrun that vehicle. Because that guy is right behind it attacking us, or two of them are. So let's just go ahead and overrun them. In fact, they're getting out of cover now. Engage. Wow, using RPGs against infantry. Whatever works. Oh, the vehicle was still operational there. Okay, we cleared the intersection. The army can move through. Yeah, I'm expecting it's not going to be that simple. Bring one of these sniper teams out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't very quickly with the engineers uh, put down some mines. I don't think we're going to need them, but I honestly haven't played this mission in so long, I'm, I'm not totally sure. So a lot of bandits in the mountains here. Copy that, Falcon. I'm beginning my maneuvers. Okay, beautiful. So we've got some pretty heavy uh, equipment, or you know, necessary equipment for the front moving through here. We want to keep the enemy at bay, and the technical is going to be very important in doing that. Falcon four, this is Carrier two. We've been attacked from the mountains. They have yep, RPGs no surprise there. Guns. Carrier 2, this is Falcon 4. I'm doing everything I can. Let's get back, let's get back. As long as we can give them some pretty decent cover fire, we should be okay. 
Look at that technical. They've got suicide bombers and IFBs. We have to Ooh, no. Suicide we bombers on the way. We've got the to stop point. these guys. Engage, engage, engage. Okay, that suicide bomber's definitely stopped. And we've also got this RPG squad here. Beautiful. That's not gonna be a threat. But that IFV definitely could be. It's too bad we don't have any sort of tank to uh, help us here. Move this RPG forward. And again, I really want to engage the heavier vehicle here. It's going to be the IFV instead of just uh, hitting the technicals, but they can also pretty much ruin our day. All right, there we go. IFV on fire. And our boys are still keeping the fight up. Really brave RPG squad here. And this is the al Akmini Hatchet 8 Police Squad. I don't remember the names of these squads if we're going to be playing this game again, man. I want to remember the good ones. Oh, boy. So they already got um, one of our friendly BMPs. Bad news there. Still have to make sure the supplies get through, though. Move this RPG team over here. Good shooting. Looks like the rest of the guys might make it through, but obviously that BMP is completely wasted. Can't wait to see the casualties here. I mean, this this is just pretty basic combat stuff. I was really hoping we would get their entire convoy through, but it just didn't happen that way. If I'm not mistaken, they still have a few guys up here in the mountains. So we're going to send the engineer and our one of our police squads up, our regular police squad, Edge 2, uh, and see if we can engage and remove that threat. Grenade from the engineer squad. Well done, nice our, throw. The army managed to get that convoy through. There's at least some good news today. Vulcan 4. This is RG2. The convoy got through. The army will be here soon to clean up the last of it. Return to base. Over and out. Okay, guys. There we go. That's a victory. Um, and it looks like we lost five men. Not too bad, all things considered. Uh, what did you guys think? Drop it in the comments down below. Once again, YouTube is not going to monetize this video. There's just no way. So if you want to help the channel, you can either go ahead and uh, donate via PayPal, or you can just click the link to Twitch, subscribe there, and just donate via gems uh, on one of our Twitch streams. Really appreciate that. Take care, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.